Jaguar has been working with Warwick on advanced systems validation techniques for two years now. The collaboration has helped the car company establish itself as a world leader in the field of low voltage testing. My name is Kevin Talbot. I'm the electronics technical specialist for Land Rover and Jaguar. Well, the relationship with Warwick has been very successful and it's been so over a number of years. We have a good history of delivery of projects from the Warwick University. In fact, I would say that our relationship with them is unique. I don't think there are any other universities that have that sort of relationship with the automotive industry in the UK. But the university have the independence um, that we don't have back at Whitley. They have independence from the pressures of delivering vehicle projects. That gives them the uh, ability to go away to do some creative thinking and, and try out ideas. My name is Ross McMurrin, I'm the manager for Electrical Projects. The project is called eBox, it's a five year project um, sponsored by Technology Strategy Board. Um, eBox stands for Evolutionary Validation of Complex Systems and it's concerned with the validation of automotive electronic at a system of systems level. A system of systems were uh, something comprised of a, a number of individual subsystems and quite clearly uh, automotive electronics and vehicle have a number of individual systems all with their own degrees of autonomy which come together to share resources so obviously the, the power supply is one but things like sharing of vehicle information like speed may be shared with navigation systems, engine management systems. Um, increasingly they're becoming complex as more and more features being added to the car as the vehicle has to uh, respond to legislative requirements. Um, so we're looking to develop new and better test methods to, to deal with uh, testing of systems of systems which have uh, a very large uh, test space uh, that has to be covered within testing. My name is Guni Dadiala, I'm a principal engineer in the electrical projects team in WMG. Our collaborators Jaguar and Land Rover uh, work with us to identify particular issues to do with electronics and software robustness. One of the key areas was looking at the impact of low voltage transient conditions issues when the voltage and the battery goes low, um, which causes software and electronic systems not to behave as a customer may expect. Um, so they approached us to look at novel ways of testing electrical systems. Um, part of the work involved developing new software for, for generating low voltage conditions, which could exercise the system uh, more robustly, but also more representatively for the real world. The work in the low volts um, testing is, is, has been designed to try and induce those faults within systems that stops components talking to each other. Historically there's been a lot of manual testing, a lot of people sitting in cars, starting the engine or even using some very crude uh, rudimentary tools such as files to generate contact um, make and break situations. So our role has been to try and make that leap from uh, a simple test to a more complex, more robust test. Uh, in automating the test uh, and, and producing software generated solutions for testing. So uh, I mentioned the, 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 the file test. We've now generated uh, a software based solution which is reproducible and can be run over many many hours not, not needing somebody to sit there and, and create these, uh, these breaks in voltages. There can be a number of causes of it. Um, a principal one is when you're cranking the, the vehicle um, it will cause the, the, the voltage to dip as you're trying to crank the engine, particularly if the temperature is caught very cold uh, and then that will recover as, as the vehicle actually cranks. Another problem is intermittent dropout, so if you've got a loose connection you will see a, a, a periodic dropout of the, of the voltage supply in the vehicle. There are very large plans for Jaguar and Land Rover to roll this testing out. Um, in an increasing effort to improve and increase the robustness of their systems, and the rollout will be um, to all their first tier suppliers, electronics and system suppliers, to base their testing on the new um, techniques that we're developing as part of uh, uh, Land Rover's own specifications for low voltage testing. Already within Jaguar and Land Rover, they're using this test at a vehicle level to, to validate. There's always challenges introducing something for the, for the first time, and we've put a lot of work into making sure that the tests are significant from a statistical point of view uh, and, and a theoretical and a practical point of view. So we're doing a lot of back-to-back -back testing in order to give people the confidence that the tests that we're, prove we're, we're doing here are actually fully representative at a vehicle and a component level. 
we also are looking at the design methodology. So we want to integrate a number of individual techniques that we're looking at together with our partners in Evox into a framework for design for robustness. So not just on the validation of the actual product, but the validation of the actual design. In future we move increasingly to hybrid vehicles and probably there will be further developments that we haven't even thought of yet, which are going to add to further use of uh, electronic complexity. So the, the rate of growth of software in vehicles will tend to be exponential. One example of the new features uh, is the, the JagSense system, where instead of having switch contacts in the overhead console and also in the glove box release, the customer can just touch the, the lens of the overhead lights to turn the lights on and off, or touch a, a target on the fascia to open the glove box. That little switch which opens the glove box has a, 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 its own software intelligence inside so that it can detect the difference between somebody moving their knee in front of it and touching it with their finger. And that's just a, one example of a customer feature where a switch now is actually a relatively complex uh, piece of software. It's, a, it's an industry-wide issue. Um, all vehicles that are, are trying to produce to the premium market have got this level of complexity they need it to deliver the product. What we're trying to do here is push beyond that and develop a, a new type of test that will ensure an even higher level of robustness. This is an opportunity for us to lead the way for the rest of industry. We believe that we are finding new opportunities which uh, have previously not been explored.